Senator John Nyonyutu, coming to you, um, there seems to be a dilemma. To just caught two members of parliament from uh, the Mount Kenya region, Gadonio Mushomba, the Gidonguri lawmaker, says, I quote her, the bill is punitive and oppressive to the same hustler who gave us the mandate representing them in government. Her counterpart from the, count from the constituency of Gatanga, Edward Murillo, says, government must restore lost trust of the public so that they get assurance that money collected will be put into good use. That is now aside as to the management of the money that will be collected if, say, this bill is passed by the National Assembly. But there seems to be the growing discontent, <coughs> not only among the leadership, but also among Kenyans. What's your position? Uh, thank you very much, Ayub. And uh, I think right from the onset, I want to say that uh, the Honorable Gadonwa Moshomba is entitled to her democratic right of uh, you know, expressing herself about what she feels and about what may be her interaction of the people of Gidunguri. Uh, has uh, maybe, uh, you know, brought out. But uh, one thing I would want to correct is uh, this particular headline in the, on the standard mm -hmm. today that uh, there's rebellion amongst Mount Kenya MPs. I think uh, uh, this is actually alarmist and uh, I don't think it's amongst MPs because uh, from what you have said, the only person as we speak uh, that uh, maybe thinks that the bill will not serve the interests of Kenyans in Mount Kenya. Mm -hmm. I think he's the Honorable Gadonwa Moshomba. And so if this, uh, if the standard was going to be fair, then it, would, it should have been saying that there is rebellion. And I don't think actually think that Gadonwa Moshomba is rebelling. Mm -hmm. She's just expressing her, her, views. Uh, her, her views on the bill. And that is not rebellion. As for uh, Gatanga MP Edward de Moreu, yeah. I think you have rightly put it that uh, he's just saying that we need to build more confidence that when we levy any, 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 any charges of taxes on, uh, on the people that we should then uh, go ahead and see to it that uh, the same such raised revenue mm -hmm. then uh, is expended in a way that people uh, will be comfortable with. Uh, because I think uh, um, we do not have a problem with, uh, with uh, well, the, the, the problem we have rather yeah. is that when people maybe feel that you maybe are collecting uh, revenue and not uh, delivering services in the way they expect, then I think we have, we have a problem. Mm -hmm. But all having been said and done, and I don't know whether that is within what you would want me to respond to, but if you allow me, uh, I think I want to thank Senator Ronyonka because uh, for the first time I have had a member uh, from the Azimio admitting very well that the president, William Samoy Ruto, was elected. Mm -hmm. And he has uh, confirmed that twice. But and so I think, just a minute, Senator Ronyonka, just, just a minute. Just, okay, okay, just, 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 just <laughs> let a minute. him make his submissions. Uh, let, let, <clears throat> let me finish. And so I want to thank him because I think uh, from uh, his side uh, and from uh, you know, the leadership of the, his side, there has been like uh, you know, you know, that uh, kind of uh, complaint. And people have been like, some of them have even actually not been uh, referring to the president as president. Okay, the legitimacy question. Le the legitimacy okay, question. But before you go, we'll talk about that because the yes. bipartisan talks right. will be happening. Uh, the, right. There will be a, a parliamentary group meeting. That, that, that's but right. on to the question. Yes. The constant factor in this equation yes. and, and the talk that we are having this morning mm -hmm. are the Kenyan people. Yes. And Gadoni, for example, she, she's just a minutiae. Yes. Agreed. But she says... This bill will be punitive and oppressive to the same hustler who gave the mandate. And, and you campaigned on that as your springboard to get the mandate of the Kenyan people. Yes. And out of the more than 1,000 memorandums which were submitted to the Committee on National Finance and National Planning of the National Assembly, more than 970 have rejected the proposals as contained in the finance bill. I mean, I just want to understand your position. Well, my position uh, is that, uh, of course, any time that... Uh, uh, you are paying. It's painful. And, and uh, Ayub, uh, this is as old as humankind. You remember even in, in the biblical times, uh, you remember people that used to collect taxes 
uh, people like Zakayo, I mean, uh, tax collectors. In fact, we were very mad with them. And at one point, I remember, uh, uh, people actually complained that Jesus was, uh, you, know, f you, know, you know, keeping the company of tax collectors. Because for them, uh, tax collectors were public enemies. And so any time uh, any one of us, including ourselves, when we are expected to maybe cuff out something more or yeah. dig deeper into our pockets, mm -hmm. of course it's painful. And so I want to agree with Radoni and uh, in fact everybody else that it is going to be painful paying more. It is painful. Nobody, can, nobody enjoys, you know, paying. Okay. But, but, but then we have a mandate to deliver. All right. The Kenya Kwanzaa government has a mandate to deliver. Okay. There are services to be offered. We need money. We cannot continue borrowing. All right. We have to raise it uh, locally. Thank you. And that is that is a balance maybe we should be o talking about. Point noted. And we'll talk about the prudence of the money that we have collected because Kenyans have been paying taxes right. since independence. That's right. And the prudence is of public resources.